Hello everyone, this is Sedi and welcome to Sedi Smart News. For this video, we will discuss Random Problem 24, which is entitled Score Equality. Without further ado, let's get started. So here is random problem 24. A class of N students took a item, item quiz. Each question merits one point if correct and zero points if incorrect. It is guaranteed that 10 students will get the same score. The question is, what is the minimum number of students in the class. If you want to try this problem first, you can pause the video. But if you want to view the full solution, continue watching. To solve this problem, we need to find the worst possible scenario. Let us imagine a scenario where everything is maximized. First, we know that there are 10 items in the quiz and we can get one point or zero points. So we have these possible scores. Zero points if you get nothing correct. One point if you get one question correct. Two points, three points. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there are eleven possible scores for this quiz. However, it is guaranteed that ten students will get the same score. We will think of a scenario where there is a possibility that 10 students will not get the same score. No 10 students will not get the same score. How could that happen? How could such a scenario happen? We do that by assigning nine students for each score. So we have nine students who scored zero, nine students who scored for one, and so on. This gives us a total of 99 students. And we use a principle that is well known in combinatorics, which is pigeonhole principle. This worst case scenario leads us into adding one more student. So we have a total of 99 plus 1 equals 100 students. The 100 student can be placed anywhere here and you have a guaranteed 10 students that will get the same score. If you place it on zero, it becomes 10 students. And if you place it on 10, it will have the same result. So our answer for this problem is 100. So that is it for today's video, Kamatverse. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sedis Matos. Also, follow my social media accounts because I post content there on a regular basis. That's it, folks. This is Sedi reminding you to chase your greatest moonbeam and mathematics is incomplete without you. Till next time.